Friends, observe a short trick to calculate electric flux. This is a given charge Q. To calculate flux, first take a closed surface. Here I am taking a sphere for this Q charge. Now area of this sphere we know that 4 pi r square. Take a point P on the surface of the sphere. So distance between Q and P we know that it is R. Now electric field for this point P act in this direction. So you can write the magnitude of electric field E is equal to KQ by R square. Now take a small vector area at P. So let it is dA bar. So you can observe the angle between E vector and dA vector is 0. Right? So angle between E bar and dA bar that is angle between electric field and vector area is equal to 0. The same thing you can observe so here and here also. So to find this electric flux we have to go for surface integral. Just apply the formula here. Yes. Electric flux phi E is equal to integral E bar dot dA bar. Now, what is E bar dot dA bar? That is nothing but integral E into dA cos 0. Right? Just we are applying A bar dot B bar mod A mod B cos theta angle between A and B for dot product. So here A bar dot dA bar angle between these two already we know this is 0 therefore magnitude of E bar can be written as E magnitude of dA bar can be written as dA cos angle between these two is 0. So cos 0 value is 1. So E is a constant here therefore you can write it as E into integral dA. What is integral dA? Yes that is A only. Therefore phi E electric flux is equal to E A. Now substitute value of E. What is E? K Q by R square and what is A? That is area is nothing but 4 pi R square. Substitute E and A here. So this gives K Q by R square and A value here it is 4 pi R square. Clearly R square and R square gets cancelled. Here you can write the value of K. You know that the K is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. Substitute k value here. R square R square gets cancelled. In place of k write 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. Q as it is 4 pi also as it is. In the next step, yes you can cancel this 4 pi and 4 pi. Therefore electric flux given by Q by epsilon naught. This is very very important result. No need to apply integration. When you find closed surface. Right? For all closed surfaces. So directly you can apply the electric flux is equal to Q by epsilon naught. This is very simple technique. For a given charge take a closer surface then apply electric flux as Q by epsilon naught. Students, keep watching Max Guru YouTube channel for more Max and Physics video lessons which are useful for your competitive exams. All the best and bye bye.